All right, I am getting ready to take this phone and dunk it into the water. Not just dunk it, I'm going to put it underwater to shoot some underwater shots. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is supposedly waterproof up to, I think 18 feet, something like that for 30 minutes. So we are going to find out. So like many of you, we are officially shelter in place, which means we can't leave our houses for any reasons other than absolute necessities, which means we are no longer going to the studio. But for today, we did want to do something that you all actually suggested. And I thought it was a fantastic idea, something that we could do together to get our minds off of the situation, give us a reason to be creative and a part of this community more actively. And that is a 60 second quarantine challenge. So yeah, I took up the Film Riot Challenge and made a short film, and it's now on my channel. If you haven't seen that, check it out after this video. So since I'm staying at home, I don't have all my filmmaking gear. I don't have all my cameras, I don't have all my tripods, etc. And I wanted to do some underwater shots, and I don't have my GoPro. So I thought to myself, what do I have that I could pull off those kind of shots? So these are the final edited shots in the actual movie. And I shot these on the iPhone using Filmic Pro. And within Filmic Pro, I used the ultra wide lens. And I shot 1080 HD, 120 frames per second. That way I could conform this to 24p in post-production and I would have slow motion. Now again, since I didn't have all my gear, I tried to find things I could use and I had this grabber, this household grabber. Uh, normally I might use a monopod or something like that to hold the phone, but in this case I used what I had and it worked out great. So for this first shot, I just lowered the phone below the surface of the water and then I had my daughter jump over the phone. And so here you can see the phone going under the water. And one thing that's really interesting too is the sound stayed remarkably good. I actually used some of the sound in the movie. And there she goes, jumping across. And then I pulled the phone out of the water and quickly dried it off. And for this next shot, I did a similar thing, but I put the phone down parallel to the surface, more towards the bottom of the pool. And then I had my daughter on the other side and she will jump into the water. And again, the sound here is remarkably good. And just an FYI, the reason I didn't get in the water is it was 63 degrees. My kids don't mind the cold water. I've got to have it like 80 degrees or better. It's just too cold for me. <laughs> And so I was actually really pleasantly surprised at how good that shot turned out. And so for shots three and four, they were more traditional, at least one of them was. For shot three, I used the wide lens and I just shot it from outside the pool. And just a quick note that I did lock my exposure and I used the full autofocus mode in Filmic Pro on all these shots. And then for the fourth and final shot, I used the selfie camera actually. And I shot 120 frames per second. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. It was indeed a slofy. And this footage held up surprisingly well too. The selfie camera is much improved now in the iPhone 11. And so now what I wanted to show was the original 120 frames per second footage, not conformed to 24p. So this will not be in slow-mo. You'll see it in regular speed.
go. And now just to compare, here's the 120 conformed to 24P for slow motion. All right, I just did the shots and the phone is fine. And so, yeah, this could almost work like a GoPro here and there. Probably not advised, especially using a $1,200 phone, but hey, all in the name of science. In all seriousness, guys, you could use this technique in a pinch if you don't have a GoPro, but I definitely wouldn't do this all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.